Glutamate is the most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. Release of glutamate is essential for normal function of neurons, but the levels of this neurotransmitter must be tightly regulated to avoid toxic effects on neurons. Let's take a closer look at normal glutamate signaling. As an action potential propagates into the terminal of a presynaptic neuron, vesicles storing glutamate fuse with the cell membrane and release glutamate into the synapse. Once released, glutamate can bind with several types of receptors, including postsynaptic ionotropic and metabotropic receptors that are responsible for a range of downstream effects, including initiating rapid communication between neurons, releasing brain growth factors such as BDNF, and modulating synaptic plasticity. After its release, glutamate is cleared from the extracellular space through excitatory amino acid transporters, or EAATs, which are located primarily on the surface of glial cells. Once glutamate is inside the glial cell, it is converted to glutamine, which no longer possesses excitatory properties. Glutamine is then shuttled back into the presynaptic neuron to be recycled into glutamate. Dysfunctional glutamate signaling can negatively alter brain function. Alterations such as increased release of presynaptic glutamate, the direct release of glutamate from glial cells, or an impaired ability to clear glutamate from the extracellular space can lead to excessive excitation of glutamate receptors. Too much glutamate receptor excitation can have neurotoxic effects and is implicated in various diseases, including ataxias, ALS, neurocognitive diseases including Alzheimer's disease, and neuropsychiatric disorders including mood and anxiety disorders. Biohaven Pharmaceuticals is developing the investigational agent trigrilazole as a novel neuroprotective agent to modulate glutamate neurotransmission. Trigrilazole has unique properties to enhance oral bioavailability and ensure therapeutic concentrations of its active metabolite. In part, this is mediated by the PEPT1 solute carrier that facilitates intestinal absorption of peptides and peptide-containing molecules like trigrilazole. Trigrilazole increases the expression and function of EAATs on glial cells, which facilitates the clearance of glutamate. Trigrilazole also affects glutamate signaling by modulating ion channels, which blocks presynaptic release of glutamate. Additionally, trigrilazole may also exert intracellular effects, which could lead to a restoration of neuronal metabolism. The combined effects of trigrilazole are expected to reduce the neurotoxicity associated with excessive glutamatergic excitation, which is implicated in many disorders involving the central nervous system.